Artists, storytellers, beat makers, this is the latest news, deals, and free plugins from the music production world. This week, Baby Audio released their first virtual instrument, the BA-1, and here's why it's interesting. The BA-1 is modeled after an old Yamaha CSO-1 synth from 1982, but there are huge differences. The original CSO-1 was famously simple, just one oscillator, a built-in speaker and battery, and it sounded simple as well. Baby Audio took that inspiration and put it on polyphonic steroids. Oscillator, reverb, delay, FM, filters, envelopes, sidechain, chorus. And get this, they kept some of the charm of the original CS01. You've got the speaker. Yeah, you could make this sound like it's coming out of a tiny speaker. And the added battery control, which simulates some weird wobbliness, giving you an instant lo-fi sound. Now, I understand the charm of some old synths, but with how much better new emulations make them, $49 for the BA-1 seems like a no-brainer. You can get Baby Audio's BA-1 synth for 51% off right now using the link below. Question of the week. With all the synth plugins available these days, is there really any need for hardware synths in the studio anymore? If you watch my studio tour, you know which side I'm on. But what do you think? Do you use hardware synths in your studio? Or do you really want one? Or do you think software synth plugins have taken over? Comment below. Teenage Engineering is at it again, this time with a microphone. The CM15 is a large diaphragm condenser mic and you can run this mic three ways, XLR, USB, or with battery power that's rechargeable. And it's got a built-in kickstand. The one-inch diaphragm capsule in the mic is built by Peluso, who is known for high-quality mics. Given Teenage Engineering's historic prices, I was expecting this to be more expensive, but at $1,199, I would honestly choose this over that $1,600 desk they introduced weeks ago. Wait a sec. That desk is sold out? Well, Ikea, here we come. You've heard me talk about GPU Audio before. It's the company that has been making plugins that run on your computer's video card instead of the CPU. I said in the past that this opens up the possibility of running more powerful plugins than before, and it looks like things are headed in that direction already. GPU Audio has announced a partnership with Vienna Symphonic Library. They're gonna release a convolution plugin that will use GPUs technology. The plugin they plan to release together, the Vienna MIR Pro 3D, allows you to place instruments and virtual microphones in a 3D space. Keep an eye on my channel because I'm soon going to put GPU audio to the test when I build my own music production PC from the ground up. Let's see what it can do. Stay tuned. Hey, remember when Darthy and I unboxed this crazy looking vocal booth thing? Well, Isovox just dropped a new portable vocal booth called Isovox Go. Now I really wished we had that one. Look at how it folds up into a bag. Now granted, it doesn't offer as much noise isolation as the regular version. The original Isovox booth offers up to negative 35 decibels of sound reduction, and the portable version gives you negative 10 decibels. Anyway, if you wanna check out more about the new new booth, I'll add a link below. Hey, we recently sat down with Devon Terrell and the My Audio Nerds podcast team to discuss some of my favorite gear, and wow, they asked some tough questions too. It's coming soon, I'll keep you posted. Autotune has released updates to two of their products. Most interesting is EFX Plus, now on version 10. They've added seven new effects and three modular slots to add them in any order. The effects include breath, reverb, echo, chorus, compress, low pass, and EQ. You fly coast to coast within a day. But it feels, feels more like 
EFX Plus is one of those vocal effects plugins that is fun to use and can be pretty useful, but I feel it's priced really high for the perpetual license. Of course, it's included in their subscription plan as well. Antares has also updated Auto Key, which can detect the key of your song by just dropping the plugin on a track or dragging in a file. I'll add links below if you're interested in learning more about EFX Plus and Auto Key. Akai just dropped the MPC X Special Edition. It's pretty much the same as the MPC X, but the Special Edition adds more internal storage, now at 48 gigabytes, and more RAM for sampling. They've also added some additional MIDI ins and outs, and of course, that beautiful classic color. The MPC X isn't cheap, and the Special Edition adds a little bit more to the cost. You can get it for $2,499, link is below. All right, I've got some deals for you today, but before we get to them, let's talk about how to get your music heard. DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video, is a simple and fast way to get your music on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Pandora, pretty much everywhere. And DistroKid collects earnings for you when anyone plays or purchases your music. So don't keep sitting on those songs, get them out there and get some plays. I've created two videos on DistroKid that will probably answer any questions you have. Watch them here and if you're ready to sign up, use the link below to get 7% off your first year of membership. Deals, deals, deals. What have we got this week? Universal Audio's SD1 microphone is on sale only on Zounds, $50 off. This is an awesome mic and Universal Audio's answer to the SM7B. The studio monitors and subwoofer that I started my channel with are on sale. The pair of PreSonus Aris 4.5s is just $150 and you can get the T8 sub for $300. Both $50 off and a great setup. Links are below. Today is also the last day to save on Universal Audio plugins on Plugin Boutique, 50% off their native plugins. Links to all these deals are below the video. Happy birthday weekend, Sanjay C. We wish you so much love, happiness, and success from all the daily good energy you put out into not only both your jobs, but into our lives and making progress in it for all of us. You deserve the best wishes and we love you. To celebrate you, this next artist has been excited to be featured on your birthday weekend. Mate Rudraga. Rudraga is from Kerala, India. He recorded his guitar and Ableton's drum rack to make this music. He used CLA 76 and Ozone Imager on the guitars and mastered it with Ozone as well. Thank you for being part of our MTM Wild community. Please show some love to Rudraga and leave a comment on his Instagram and follow him on his socials for more art and music. To be featured on Sanjay C News, create a public post on Instagram featuring at least 60 seconds of your original instrumental music. Follow and tag Sanjay C and Hashtag Sanjay C News, because that's how we found your music. Keep making the videos and music you love. All right, it's time for this week's freebie. If you want more synth sounds from the 80s, check out the new plugin from Naxt. Regency is a phase distortion synth, kind of like the Casio CZ. It's available in clap and AU formats. You can get it free using the link below. So a few weeks ago, I posted a video blind testing the top piano plugins available today. And it got the attention of a certain company that made changes to their software in response to that video. Can you guess which company it is? Watch that video and check the comments to find out. Keep making the music you love, and I'll see you next week. Happy birthday to Sanjay C. 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 Woo -woo!